Hi everyone, I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and welcome to the recap of the July 2019 Chemnitz Dialogue. This month we were inspired by this gorgeous lily and the way that the purple, red, and orange interplay together just called to me and I knew I needed to create some color whites. Before we take a look at the finished dry yarn, <laughs> what do you think about this little like twist that I have of all the yarn from our dialogue? Uh, this is actually a way that I frequently will store yarn that comes from one video. Rather than twisting up three separate hanks, I'll have them all together so that way I know which yarn went with which video. Uh, but this one was just so pretty that I had to show you. First, let's take a look at our yarn mop. While I was dyeing our yarn, and I was doing a low immersion technique using dry dye powder, I had this skein of the Knit Picks Merino Twist. And it's 100% superwash merino, it's heavy worsted weight, and it was soaked in vinegar, and I would just wipe my gloves on it, which gave us this beautiful random yarn. And just check out those speckles. Oof. This yarn actually reminds me a lot of the first yarn that Lucas ever dyed. Was it his first yarn? Maybe not his first yarn, but the first one he hand-painted. Uh, one of the first ones he hand-painted. Anyway, he requested orange, pink, and purple, so I gave him some red, purple, and orange Kool-Aids, and he went wild. And so this is really bringing back memories of that colorway. Now let's get on to our Lily colorway. I wanted something that almost felt like it was dip dyed, but it isn't. We've got some more depth and tones in here because I was adding the dry powders directly to the yarn then sort of moving things around. Especially in the purple section, you can see a bunch of hues and tones in there, which I think will give it lovely depth. But you also could get some really cool pooling almost on socks micro stripe like uh, because of the orange mixed with the purple, and I think the whole thing together could look incredible. This yarn is the Dyer Supplier Sparkle Sock, which is 70% Superwash Merino, 20% Nylon, and 10% Stellina. So it has the sparkle and sheen to it, reminiscent of the dewdrops on the petals. The only regret that I have is that I didn't add some red specks to our orange. Um, I think that that would have helped, quote, nail it a bit better. This live stream was a slightly smaller one than some of the past ones, where I was able to do more versions of the colorway. I know for sure that I am not done playing with this combination of orange, red, and purple. Um, and I ended up using, what, deep purple, cherry bomb, and fluorescent safety orange for this colorway. I have other things I want to explore, maybe even bring in some pops of yellow and green that we also saw in that photo. I want to apologize for the technical difficulties that we had with the stream. I don't really have it pinned down yet as to why sometimes the streams go really smoothly and then other times there is a lot of buffering issue and jerky issue with the images. Um, I'm doing my best to try to improve the quality and I really appreciate you guys being really, really patient. Same thing goes for the audio. I know in general I can improve the audio on all of my videos, but especially it's hard to hear me when I'm wearing the respirator. So maybe going forward um, for the next few streams, I'll try to stick with techniques that don't involve using dry powder so that way I can leave the mask off. All this is to say that I truly appreciate your feedback, your constructive criticism, or non-constructive and outright criticism. I read all comments and they really do help me improve as an artist, as a content creator, and yeah, so thank you so much for taking the time to share these things with me. All right guys, now let's get to my favorite part of the Chemnitz Dialogue. Let's take a look at some of the colorways you created inspired by the same image. Uh, did you go the route I did and sort of literally look at the petals? Or did you decide to mix these colors together in another way? And whether or not you kept these bright tones distinct or if maybe they blended together a little bit. I know that there's so much variety and I love seeing the beautiful colors that you created. We added a lot of pigment, and the Stellina definitely picked up pigment in some places. 
especially around the purple. Some of it has a little bit more of a pink sheen than being the pure silver that it started out with. Either way, we still have that sparkle and glimmer, and so it's just beautiful. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and thank you so much for joining me for the July 2019 Chemnitz Dialogue. I have so much fun picking the inspiration photo and then trying to turn that image and those colors and the feelings that they evoke into yarn. I have no idea what I'm going to pick for August yet, but stay tuned because on the 15th of the month, I will share the next inspiration photo and try to come up with a beautiful way to translate that into yarn. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook so you don't miss the announcement of the new photo. Even though this recap is finished, you can still share pictures of your projects from past months with the hashtag Chemnitz Dialogue on Instagram or by sharing them in the Chemnitz Lab Facebook group. Thank you so much for watching everyone.